A two-time former Bihar Chief Minister Karpuri Thakur has been acknowledged for uplifting the backward castes and will posthumously receive the Bharat Ratna Award, which as we all know is the highest civilian award in our country. And Prime Minister Narendra Modi has also praised the late Bihar Chief Minister, highlighting the honour's significance. Bihar's current Chief Minister Nitish Kumar has also endorsed it and the credit race has already intensified as the RJD has labelled it a political move with Thakur from other backward castes. It's seen as BJP's bid for Nitish Kumar's traditional support, his policies shaped backward politics in Bihar. Now, the recognition, which is 35 years after Karpuri Thakur's demise back in the year 1988, is viewed as BJP's strategic move just ahead of Bihar's 40 parliamentary seats in the upcoming general election. Let's also listen in to the reactions. <laughs> टेलीविजन पर जो मैंने सुना तो मुझको खुशी का ठिकाना नहीं रहा क्योंकि 36 वर्षों तक मैं आ, मांग करता आ रहा था लेकिन उस पर विचार नहीं किया एक आ एक सवा वर्ष पूरा होने के बाद एक दिन पहले भारत सरकार ने यह घोषणा किया इतनी बड़ी उपाधि दी मैं अपनी तरफ से और बिहार की जनता की तरफ से आप सबों की तरफ से मैं भारत सरकार को बधाई देता हूं और अपनी तरफ से कृतज्ञता ज्ञापित करता हूं श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने वो ऐतिहासिक काम कर दिखाया जो आज तक कोई प्रधानमंत्री नहीं कर पाया था अति पिछड़ों की लड़ाई लड़ने वाले कर्पूरी जी को एक दूसरे अति पिछड़े के बेटे नरेंद्र मोदी ने भारत रत्न की उपाधि से सम्मानित करने का काम किया है लालू यादव नीतीश कुमार मांग करते थे कि भारत रत्न दिया जाए लेकिन जब स्वयं केंद्र में मंत्री थे तो क्यों नहीं दिलवा पाए और आज वो काम नरेंद्र मोदी ने कर दिखा दिया तो कर्पूरी जी के सपनों को नरेंद्र मोदी साकार कर रहे हैं कर्पूरी जी का पूरा जीवन गरीबों के प्रति समर्पित था उन्होंने अंग्रेजी की अनिवार्यता को खत्म किया कर्पूरी ठाकुर जी को भारत रत्न देने का फैसला केंद्र सरकार ने किया है जो बीजेपी कर्पूरी ठाकुर जी को जीते जी गाली दे रही थी नौ वर्षों तक याद नहीं आया ये तो हम लोगों के दबाव में हमारे नेता आदरणीय लालू प्रसाद जी हमारी पार्टी लगातार इस मांग को कर रही थी कि भारत रत्न मिलना चाहिए अब चुनाव नज़दीक है तो अब कर्पूरी ठाकुर जी याद आ रहे हैं उनको भारत रत्न दिया है केंद्र सरकार ने इनको अभी कर्पूरी ठाकुर जी याद आ रहे हैं वोट के लिए all right, for more details, uh, let's quickly go across to Arunima who's joining me on the phone line. Arunima, before we delve into the politics of this, important to highlight why Karpuri Thakur is known as the Jan Nayak and the Messiah for the marginalized. So his political guru was Raman Hur Lohia. He's a dyed-in-a-wool socialist politician who's always fought for the downtrodden, who's always fought for those who are considered backward in the societal scheme of things. He's credited with thinking for the first time that backwards must have reservation in government jobs for the upliftment of uh, the backward community. And he's had a long uh, struggle as far as the socialist politics is concerned. And therefore, you see, when the announcement came, uh, the socialist politicians, be it the Samajwadi Party, be it the RJD or the JDU, they are the first ones of the bloc to welcome this because this has been a demand for long. And this has been seen as a masterstroke by the Bharti Janta Party, given the fact that in the last couple of months, you've seen the Congress and the opposition parties repeatedly attacking the Narendra Modi government on the issue of the backward caste saying that what are you doing for them? Why are you not holding the caste census? What is it that, that you are afraid of? So in that backdrop, I think this decision by the Modi government will be considered a political masterstroke for Bihar and Uttar Pradesh. A political masterstroke for sure, uh, Aranima, because considering uh, at a time when the mandal kamandal politics is only intensifying, uh, we've also seen political players in Bihar also stake claim to Karpuri Thakur's uh, overall persona. Uh, how, when you say it is a master stroke, do also walk us through how this was a legacy which so far was only being claimed by Nitish Kumar and why so? See, Nitish Kumar, Lalu Prasad Yadav are, are uh, you know, 
are, are part of the same political struggle which has now led to two distinct political outfits coming up which is the RJD and the JDU but they started their career together uh, they all came out of the JP movement and the socialist movement before that of Ram Manohar Lohia of Kalpuri Thakur had their influence on these Bihar politicians Sushil Modi I would say is the third of that troika they are all they have all emerged from uh, that that kind of politics and karpuri thakur who came from the nai community it's a, it's a backward community in bihar uh, and therefore his contribution and there are a lot of you know stories about karpuri mm. thakur one which says that once he fell really ill he was a two time former chief minister of bihar and when indira gandhi offered to get him treated at the all india institute of medical sciences he refused saying that you know i am a common man i will get treated just as a common man does as a as a two time chief minister again he was entitled to a plot of land so that after uh, you know quitting active politics he could live right. uh, like a former chief minister he refused that too so that is the legacy of karpuri thakur that a lot of people of his generation or people who have seen old school politics still remember very different from politics that we see today in fact interestingly he was chief minister twice for but for short tenures but it was the the gravity of the decisions that he took during those tenures that sort of outsize uh, the tenure that he was the chief minister for and on that note uh, in fact let me also read out what nitish kumar's uh, the bihar chief minister's tweet has been he's gone on to say that purv mukhya mantri aur mahan samajwadi neta uh, swargiya karpuri thakur ji ka desh ka sarvoch samman bharat ratna diya jana hardik प्रसन्नता का विषय है केंद्र सरकार का यह अच्छा निर्णय है स्वर्गीय करपुरी ठाकुर जी आ, को उनकी सौवीं जयंती पर आ, दिया जाने वाला यह सर्वोच्च सम्मान दलितों वंचितों और उपेक्षित तबकों के बीच सकारात्मक भाव पैदा करेगा ऑन दैट नोट लेट मी आल्सो ब्रिंग इन अमन हु इज जॉइनिंग मी ऑन द फोन लाइन अमन अरुणिमा वाज कॉलिंग इट अ मास्टर स्ट्रोक एंड आई कुडंट एग्री मोर बिकॉज़ नाउ यू फाइनली हैव नितेश कुमार गोइंग ऑन टू से दैट केंद्र सरकार का यह अच्छा निर्णय है व्हेन यू have the bjp now arguing it that why couldn't nitish kumar fetch this order uh, this kind of an honor for his own mentor when he was a union minister well absolutely and you know this also comes in the light of nitish kumar and tejashwi yadav when before before that tejashwi's father lalu prasad yadav all these years saying uh, that karpuri thakur should be given the bharat ratna it's been it's been a demand that at least i have been hearing since 2016 2017 but it is finally the bjp government the narendra modi government which has you know honored uh, mr karpuri thakur posthumously with a bharat ratna uh, uh, this also coming you know after his centenary year mr karpuri thakur was born uh, in 1924 and one of the most backward sections of the society uh, the nai samaj and 2024 is his uh, birth centenary year in which the modi government uh, just a couple of days before the republic day has announced this big honor Uh, for karpuri thakur it also in a way shows that you know this whole caste census uh, debate which has been triggered from bihar the bjp has clearly gone out and said the look the biggest icon of social justice from bihar uh, karpuri thakur is being uh, honored with the country's highest honor the uh, civilian honor bharat ratna for his lifelong dedication uh, to the upliftment of the underprivileged section of the society and uh, if you see the modi government's history with uh, bharat ratna Uh, since the modi government has come to power six bharat ratnas have been given mm-hmm. uh, mr karpuri thakur is the sixth person to get a bharat ratna five of them uh, posthumously uh, so this also shows that you know the government stand that you know people who were deserve the bharat ratna so much you know many many years back they should have got the bharat ratna but they did not get it it is the modi government which is honoring those people now be it uh, uh, mr bhupen hazarika you know after the right. death or be be it other senior uh, leaders uh, even uh, uh, who were given in the last past few years all right. of them have actually been honored by the modi government and as far as karpuri thakur is concerned uh, it indeed uh, is has been a master stroke of the bjp government especially of prime minister narendra modi at a time when the jdu and rjd seemed to be claiming to be carrying the legacy of the former uh, bihar chief minister many thanks to you aman for putting that entire story into perspective for us and